Hey guys, so in this soccer drill, I'll have my players dribble the ball forward, make a pass to me, and then backpedal. I'll give them a pass and expect them to take the first touch and move the ball into space. This is going to teach them to actually develop a positive habit in the games and receive the ball into space instead of receiving the ball and staying stationary. Uh, it's a great exercise and the players will improve their ball control, coordination, they'll improve their footwork, they'll improve how they see the game and just overall skills in soccer. Uh, the most important part is to actually look at the technique and slow down every time that you start messing up and that way just focus on your touches and focus on how you receive the ball and at the end finish with a shot. Uh, I set the cones up and sometimes I'll limit the players to using only left or right or different touches but I like to give players the freedom to express themselves and be creative and show some flair with the ball uh, if I see the same touch over and over again I will just let them know that I'm noticing that and I want them to change it in this case as soon as they get out of the cones I'll actually play like a little shadow defender and have them dribble past me maybe meg me or dribble me and just uh, to get their confidence up in playing soccer a lot of these players are growing up in America where you know players are only playing a couple times a week in training and then playing games on the weekends but in order to improve in soccer you have to train every single day and as long as you're playing with the soccer ball and as long as you're either juggling dribbling or whatever you're doing with the ball you are improving your skills so that is it for this drill i hope that you will take advantage of it and uh, make it your own because just the way that i have the cones set up can be used for other things as well